What do I look for in a girl? I need a bitch with low self-esteem. I don't want a bitch with all kind of empowerment and wanting to vote breast cancer awareness as bitch. I, I don't want that. She gotta have two things. Ass and titties. Ass and titties. She got ass and titties. You ain't got no ass. We can't really get it popping. We can't talk. We can't really get to know each other. I don't even want to know your name. I mean, let's be real. How many guys see a cute girl and look at it and the first thought that comes to his mind is, you know what? She probably got a great personality. I would love to get to know her. In a perfect world, maybe. But in real life, I'm trying to figure out why you still got your clothes on. Yeah, I understand. We just met. But, you know. So? I need a female that when I come, she got to take care of that. Can't have no bitch spitting it back at me, getting it on my clothes and my, you know, getting on my shoes, fucking up my sheets, because I don't want to see it. And if I don't want to see it, it has to go somewhere. It's definitely not going to go on nothing that I own. Education? I don't want a bitch that reads. I don't want a Beyonce catered to you type of chick. I don't want no fucking hey single ladies put a ring on it, a ring finger on the end. I don't want to see that shit. Nobody won't marry you. I need a girl that has been through all kind of hell. She's been shot at and stabbed before because she's going to have more appreciation for life. I usually uh, don't mess with educated girls because educated girls feel like they entitled to an opinion. And opinionated girls talk back. I ain't ask you shit. I ain't ask you shit. But yet, you still feel the need to tell me your thoughts in the way that you feel about the situation. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? I need a girl that's not going to be afraid to follow me. Say we in church. I need a girl that's going to reach and grab my shit. We could close the Bibles up and go out to the park and get it popping. Honestly, the only thing that you really have to know is how to get to my mother house. Nine times out of ten, that's, that's where I'm going to be when you pick me up. So, if you smart enough to do that, you know, we good. I need a bitch that's gonna cook. I definitely ain't taking you no fucking restaurant. I ain't taking, I ain't even taking no fucking fast food. Fast food shit adds up. Fucking super sizes and McFlurries and shit. The thing that I really need most of all, a girl that understands me and my struggles. You understand what I'm saying? She understands that I'm going to do man shit. If my dick is like too much to the right in my pants, she lets me be a man, lets me grab my shit and straighten it. You knew that I wasn't shit when you got with me. So don't, you know, try to throw that in my face once we get into an argument. Because I'm just going to look at you like, but you the one that's with me. So, you, what, what that make you, bitch? Don't ask me fucking difficult ass questions. Shit like, how do you think this relationship is going? I don't give a fuck. I really don't. If you're gonna ask me that, you might as well go on to the next person because I ain't got time for that shit. These difficult ass, interrogating ass, Oprah Winfrey ass questions. I ain't got time for that. Look, let me let me put it like this. If you are able to get a job at like McDonald's or something like that, then you probably overqualified to be my girl. Because I can't, I can't be with nobody that's doing better than me, you know, and that's pretty much it.